when morals decline and good men do nothing, evil flourishes. A society unwilling to learn from the past is doomed. We must never forget our history. We must never lower our guard. Edgar, you will rise to be the most powerful man in the country. It is my belief that when a man becomes a part of this bureau, he must so conduct himself as to eliminate even the slightest possibility of criticism as to his conduct. Mr. Tolson, I need someone who I can trust. I want you to be my number two man. You understand? I need you. Imagine if every citizen in this country were uniquely identifiable by the pattern on their fingers. Imagine how quickly we could find them if they committed a crime. You remember that file we created on his wife? Mrs. Roosevelt. Will you make a copy for me, please? Is that legal? Sometimes you need to bend the rules a little in order to keep your country safe. Please leave the transcripts here with me. Feel free and share them with your brother, Mr. Kennedy. Let him know that I have a copy of my own. The president is afraid. All the admiration in the world can't fill the spot where love goes. We are the sinners, Edgar. We tolerated lawlessness in the land until it grew to diabolical proportions. The blood is on your hands, Edgar. What are your exact qualifications for your position of leadership in this bureau? My qualifications, sir? I don't know who I can trust anymore. I see right through you. You're a scared, heartless, horrible little man. Don't wilt like a little flower. Be strong. Yes, mother. It's time this generation learned the difference between villain and hero. Even great men can be corrupted.